In this class, we calculate effective resistance of a cube across face diagonal of a cube. Here, it's here 12 equal resistors are taken. These 12 resistors are taken along the edges of a diagonal. Here, six faces is there. Along any face of the cube, we are going to, along any face of face diagonal of the cube, we are going to find effective resistance. Let us take in this face A and B are face diagonal. This A and B, let us connect to the battery. By connecting battery, here, here current will be, current is drawn from the battery, it comes here. If you see here, according to symmetry, if you take one plane, let us take a plane, that plane passes through point 0.1, point 0.2, point 0.3 and point 0.4. If you consider this plane, point 0.1, point 0.2, point 0.3 in this plane, if you consider, this plane is symmetry of the diagram. So that at point 0.1 and point 0.2 and point 0.3, point 0.4 potential will be equal. Potential at point 0.1 is equal to, potential at point 0.2 is equal to, potential at point 0.3 is equal to, potential at point 0.4 will be there. Since potential at 1 and 2 are equal so that we can connect this 1 and 2 by the short circuiting wire and 3 and 4 we can connect by the short circuit wire. And see here in this diagram 1 and 3 potential equal so potential difference across 1 and 3 is 0 so that in this resistance current will be passes it will not be passes across 1 and 3 current will not be passes similar way potential difference at 2 and potential difference at 4 are equal so that potential difference across 2 and 4 is 0 so that in this resistance also current will not be passes since in this resistance and in this resistance current is not passes so that that current that resistance are not required so that let us remove those resistance this resistance let us remove and this resistance also we remove now see here now these two resistance that it means between a and 1 and between between A and 2, these two are in parallel and these two are in parallel. And similarly, here let us consider point, this point as a C and this point as a D. This is 4 is there, this point as D we take. Here between C and 3 and C and 4 are in parallel and D and 3 and D and 4 are in parallel. Now by drawing, rearranging this diagram, we get some simplified circuit. We take two points A and B this point A and this is point B we are taking this point B now see here this one across A1 A and 1 A and 2 these two resistors are parallel so that we are taking these two are in parallel this point A now the here point is 1 comma 2 is there and here one more resistance two resistors are in parallel like that is there here these two resistance we take in here and these two resistance we take in here. This is the one comma two point and the one more resistance here is there. That resistance we take here, that one more resistance R and each resistance R only and this is the point C we are taking. Next these two resistance between C and 3 and C and 4 these two resistance are in parallel. So that resistors we are connecting as a parallel. This is point as a 3 comma 4. And between D and 3, D and 4, these two resistors are parallel, so that those two resistors we connect as a parallel. And here between B and D, one resistance is there, that B and D we connect as a one resistance, this B and D connect as a one resistance R. Now by simplifying this, this completely as A to R, this is completely R and R, so that this is R by 2, and this is R by 2, and this one is R by 2 and this one is R by 2 since they are in parallel. Now see here this is R, R by 2, R by 2, R. These all together are in series. This R by 2, R by 2, R and these are, these are, this all together is 3R. This all together is 3R because this is R by 2, this R by 2, R and here 1R, here 1R is there, 3R is there. And this is R by 2 and this R by 2, these two are in series so that these together as a R. Now see here this R and this 3 R, these two are in parallel. Now we simplify this diagram. See here, this is R and here 3 R. Now this point is A, this point is B. This complete resistance is R, here we take in. 
this complete resistance we take in here as a 3R. Now this R and 3R are in parallel so that R effective across phase of any, any phase of a cube is equal to 3R into R divided by 3R plus R. Because these two resistors are parallel, in parallel combination R1 into R2 divided by R1 plus R2. So that R effective across any phase diagonal of A cube, which contains 12 equal resistances, 3R by 4. 